Oh, what happened here, we had a uh, two-vehicle collision initially, and then two more other vehicles were, were involved. Uh, what happened, there was a silver SUV traveling on State Highway 42 eastbound, and a white SUV traveling westbound on State Highway 242, uh, just west of Stonecrest, on a curve in an unlit area of the highway. According to witnesses and according to the accident investigation of the point of impact, the eastbound vehicle, the silver SUV, traveled on the wrong side of the road in no passing zone, striking the white SUV front left to front left, pretty much a front end impact. Uh, the white SUV was thrown clear into the ditch on the north side of State Highway 242, and the silver vehicle remained on 242 blocking the roadway. Now the witnesses stated that there were absolutely no lights on either vehicle. The impact disabled their vehicle's lights, which caused the third vehicle traveling westbound on State Highway 242 to strike the vehicle which still contained the driver in the seat belted in, struck it on the passenger side. Uh, dead on. The vehicle was then thrown across the freeway into the westbound lane correction into the eastbound lane, striking a Good Samaritan vehicle who stopped to assist the drivers involved in the crash. Uh, that was minor to that vehicle. Uh, the collision caused two fatal injuries to both the two first vehicles, the silver SUV and the white SUV. And one of them was pronounced on scene by Judge Metz, the other one at the hospital by uh, Judge Connolly and the doctors on staff. Uh, both uh, individuals Names will not be released until families have been notified. And the other drivers, uh, the third vehicle involved in the accident, sustained uh, chest injuries, nothing serious, and the Good Samaritans did not suffer any injuries whatsoever. That's a dark road, quite a few accidents out here. We've got two crosses out here, right? One previous out here. What have you seen how many, how many years out here? You've been out here a while. This, this road is notorious for accidents. We actually had an intoxicated driver driving to our scene and there was good there were troopers on scene to subdue him and take care of him before on staff uh, the, the county was very helpful as, as well earlier in the day we had another intoxicated driver drive up on our scene going through our roadblocks which was way down the road and the county unit on scene took care of that for us as well they've been very helpful in in blocking the roads and, and, and uh, assisting us with this tragic accident I don't have that with me right now. It looks like to be a, a uh, white Chevrolet okay. Tahoe type of vehicle. Okay. And the is eastbound vehicle, silver uh, Toyota SUV. All right, now what about the, uh, the victim in this one here is trapped in a pretty pretty good length of time. Fire department said we're going to rescue, getting her out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, life flight had landed, but it wasn't able to transport because of what the cardiac arrest at transport local hospital? When Lifelight landed on scene, the uh, victim of the white SUV was, uh, at the moment, they were giving compressions to her, keeping her and, and artificially breathing for her. Uh, Lifelight landed, but uh, there was pretty much suggested that if we go down a, to Herman, she pretty much, uh, at the scene, was arresting. I appreciate it. Okay, I guess. I think it's great.